Oh, don't get too scared. <laughs> it's caught on in a flash. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review VHS 2. So, VHS 2 is the sequel to VHS. And VHS 2 is a story about these two private investigators on the search for this missing student and they run into all of these cassette tapes and they think all of these VHS cassette tapes might have something to do with the disappearance of that missing student. So if you've seen my review for the original VHS, I honestly wasn't crazy about it. The only segment I liked from the first movie was actually the final segment. So the question is, in my humble opinion, is VHS 2 an improvement over the original? It most certainly is. I actually liked VHS 2. There were more things for me to actually enjoy here than in the original film. First of all, the movie actually looks a whole lot better. Like, wow, it looks really good. Most of the acting is really good, too. I thought more things were interesting. By far, the standout segments to me are that man having that robotic eyeball. And the other standout to me was this Indonesian where I don't want to give away too much with that one, but a lot of... Fucked up shit goes on in that one, and it really intrigued me. I was on the edge of my seat. I really hated the biker segment. The biker apparently turns into a living zombie, and you literally see it eat fleshes. The movie is so fucking in your face, and I hated how the movie has to go all close up while the the man that turned to a zombie was pulling out the guts and straight up eating it. It was uncomfortable. It was disgusting. It was just very painful to watch and it was so in your face to me. So I did hate that segment. It's the worst segment. There was this final segment dealing with the slumber party. That one was okay to me. I, th I thought that was a fine segment. Better than the bike segment, yeah, but nowhere near as good as the Indonesian segment and the robotic eyeball segment. Um, you know, I didn't care about any of the characters. I did like the alien stuff. I thought the whole abduction scenes were interesting the thing that really distracted me from that segment honestly was just hearing the dog whimper the whole time and i say that because i love dogs and i get easily sensitive when it comes to hearing dogs whimper so yeah the slumber part one was okay and in terms of the moments that happened with the two investigators trying to figure out where this missing student is at i really liked those moments too it was creepy it was intriguing and it definitely made me feel invested so it was interesting how the vhs tapes sort of kind of connect to what the investigators were trying to discover with that whole thing so not only was there more much more for me to actually enjoy in the sequel but it looked more better i was definitely way more invested i wasn't too crazy about the original but i really enjoyed the sequel so i'm going to give this movie a very solid three out of four stars 